What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So unfortunately, I'm sure most of you guys have already heard the news that we lost a superstar and unfortunately we lost his daughter too to make it even more of a significant loss and tragedy. Kobe Bryant was killed yesterday morning at 10 a.m. in Calabasas, California. He was in his Korski 7 S76 helicopter, I believe it was. It was seven passengers and two pilots, a co-pilot and a pilot. All nine people died, unfortunately, due to the impact. Once the helicopter crashed, it then blew up into flames, um, immediately killing everybody on board. Uh, unfortunately, Kobe Bryant and his daughter, uh, who was only 13 years old, um, also passed away. From what I understand, there was also some other significant people. Uh, there was like some trainers and I think one of the coaches had a couple kids uh, that were also on the flight that got killed. So yeah, that's basically what happened. So anyway, uh, according to the conditions, that was foggy. Um, it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, they don't exactly know what happened to the helicopter or why it crashed. They just know that it did. Um, so unfortunately, um, you know, the Lakers are going to get their 20th straight running star no longer exists due to this situation at hand. I'm sorry about this. This is very unfortunate and it's it sucks. We've lost so many people to helicopter, plane, uh, you know, take a train people. That, that seems to be kind of safer than helicopter and plane. It's just ridiculous how many celebrities and people we have lost due to mechanical failure or maybe it was people failure. I don't know. Um, but I am at work right now. I'm finished with everything. So I have like an hour or two to spare before I'm relieved of my ship. So I just wanted to address it to you guys and kind of let y'all know about the sad situation at hand. Um, you know, my heart goes out to the family, to his wife, uh, to his other daughter who are having to deal with this tragic loss of their father and their sister um, or their siblings. It's it's horrible when it comes down to it. So this guy actually got drafted at the age of, I think it was 17, didn't even have a driver's license yet and got picked up with the NBA. From what I understand, he won nothing but championships and back-to-back -back MVPs and made millions of dollars on endorsements and playing. Um, hopefully some of that will be a small comfort to his wife and child. So, yeah. With that being said, man, I'm sorry about this. It kind of sucks. I just thought I would address it, let y'all know about what happened. If you guys haven't already heard about it, uh, I mean, it's already made national news. But, you know, uh, somebody said that, well, if Kobe Bryant wasn't in that plane or wasn't in that helicopter, would this crash make national news? Well, if his daughter was in the plane crash or in the helicopter and Kobe wasn't, then yes, it would definitely make national news. But if his daughter and Kobe both were not in the helicopter when this plane or when this helicopter went down, then I don't think you would have even heard about this crash. It might have made the local news in Calabasas, but I don't think it would have made, you know, world and, you know, country headlines within, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe a 12 hour period, everybody, uh, all the news stations, everybody was was talking about it. So, um, yeah, that's my unfortunate news and video. So I appreciate you guys. Make sure to subscribe, leave me a like, and we'll see y'all next time.